again, to be fair to her, because I'm going to destroy her, hopefully, <laughs> or at least try to dismantle her arguments later on. I destroyed this bullshit word. Sorry. But to be fair to her, she in her four-page fucking essay, <laughs> in a uh, rambling essay, I think, I think if you want to be very, very generous to her, she's pointing out to two reasons why she voted present. One was that the, the thingy, the bill was rushed. So he, she keeps saying, I tried to get more time to discuss mm-hmm. the thing and all that. To the community wake thing, you say, as somebody who's been reading this bourgeois sort of bullshit sort of uh, spin language for years, she's basically saying that I didn't want to divide my community by mm-hmm. voting, like divide the left community, because leftist community obviously includes a huge number of uh, Jewish people because Jewish people have been a, uh, uh, Jews and Scandinavians have basically been people who have brought socialism to the US and have been one of the bigger uh, supporters of uh, of le- not socialism like leftist policies let's say right so I think that's what she's referring to when uh, the vague comments you say about community and all that well uh, you know that's that so now, uh, finishing, to be fair to her, mm-hmm. I, I think she's uh, clearly established herself through a series of actions, including the Met Gala dress thing and this thing with the crying, especially, especially with the crying and the present vote. Not so much with, like, if she had voted yes and not cried, I would have not felt this much yeah. uh, disgust in my view. By the way, uh, Anna Kasparian and Na- Nando Villa, if I'm not mistaken, it on Jacobin. In my view, they do. A, this is somebody we criticize a lot, Anna Kasparian, but I think they do a great takedown of her, uh, uh, of her appearance, okay. uh, especially Na- Nando, uh, person. Uh, sorry, I forget his last name. He has a very cute dog like yours, <laughs> and um, uh, they, uh, yeah. I think she's a, she's a create she's a creation of a, she she has created herself for television and mm-hmm. it's obvious for from that program she recently did with CNN MSNBC with one of them and it's all a show the Met Gala like go to Met Gala go to Met, like there's this joke there was there was this joke that there is more politics happening in the corridors of UN summit than actual like you know the meetings and all Mm -hmm. that and maybe met gala is like that you go there you lobby some rich people to pay more taxes whatever but when you start putting tax the rich on your dress Mm -hmm. when you vote present which is neither yes nor no and then you cry and hug (laughs) people (laughs) so the cameras can catch you yeah you know, because I, we, we all can cry. We all fucking yeah. cry every night with fucking mm-hmm. ice creams in a hot tub. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. we all do that, right? Because we all, fight, the whole world is going through a depression crisis. But you are a congresswoman of the most powerful nation in the world. And you choose to cry and embrace people in front yeah. of cameras. So this is all a fucking act. And uh, yeah, I, I cannot, like, even people like Mitch McConnell, who are far more, like, open about their disgusting and disgraceful views, I find them more tolerable because there is something more. That's why I think some people like, you know, it's just, there's something more disgusting, more loathsome about people who are two faced. The long-term effect of politicians like her are sadly are that the people who voted for her and brought her to office by coming out for the first time and will double down. Crawley will no, we'll be disappointed in politics and we'll say, okay, we came out, we voted for this young mm. person who claimed to value everything we value, but she betrayed everything within three years. So why should we even vote for somebody new? So even even if you have somebody who's genuine and who's gonna stick to their principle, I don't know, people are gonna come out and show up again. I don't know. It's yeah. she, she's the worst of the worst. People like her caused the most the most long-term damage to politics, in my view, more so than people like Mitch McConnell, who at least serve their base, even if their base is like three billionaires in Texas. <laughs>